Hey everyone, how you doing? So, did I fit my new TTRS bumper? Did I get it indeed? Let's find out in the next clip that's gonna come up right about now. Hey everyone and welcome to today's vlog. So the kit, it arrived. If you've seen my Instagram post, you would have seen that um, I gave a sneak a peek of the bumper. So the kit has arrived and I'm really happy with it. It's a good quality kit. Um, so am I gonna fit it today? Probably not. And the reason why, because it needs to be painted really. So I need to talk to the body shop. I'm gonna get a body shop to do some work on the car. I've got a couple of dents and some paint. So it might be a smart body shop, um, but because I've got to get the front bumper painted up because it comes primed, it's probably better for the body shop to have that loose and then they can fit it after or they can just supply it back to me. I'm, I'm, I'm easy, I, I don't mind either way. So um, in fact, I probably prefer them to just paint it and then I fit it myself. That saves on some labor. Yeah, I might just do that. But the grill is fantastic. I love the grill, it looks really great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fit that today because I can't resist that. So we'll get the grill fitted today at least. And then you'll see some pictures on that on Instagram as well as the video here. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk to you about this channel and where it's going. But we'll come on to that later. So first of all, let's go and take a look at the grill. Tell me what you think. Okay, so this is the grill. Look at that badge. I know some of you purists might say to me, that's a fake, don't take, take the badge. Well, I might just do that. I think I might just leave it without a badge because I don't want to create a false impression, but look at that grill. Doesn't it look great? That is a fantastic grill. So, and you can see the bumper. Clearly, it's just primed. So to fit it at this stage, I don't think it's gonna give the car much justice. Plus, I haven't got enough time really to take it all apart. And with the weather being so bad yesterday, which is normally my, my day on the car, well, yeah, I don't think there's gonna be enough time. So for now, we're just gonna take the original grill off and then we're gonna fit the new grill just to have a sneaker peek to see how the car's gonna look with its new front face, its slight facelift. Let's go and do that now. Okay, so that is what the car looks like with the bumper on, the new bumper, or sorry, the new grill. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, it looks pretty good. Naturally, it doesn't have a number plate holder, that's why I sprayed the, um, er, the bumper underneath black so that we can mask that. But we, I, I, obviously it's gonna have the number plate holder, then it's gonna put the number plate on, and it's gonna look slightly different. And also I'm gonna see if I can get the plastic rings, um, the white plastic or the silver plastic Audi rings off my original one, or if not, get some new ones for that. But it looks really good, I, I like it. I am very happy with the way it looks. This is obviously on the original bumper. But the quality of the bumper is pretty good. It's on par with Audi. I gave it a little bit of clean because there was a bit of an overspray, but um, looks pretty good. Happy with that. So what I will do is I'm going to take off the original bumper, the new bumper, which is over here, and then fit this up. And um, 
I think it's gonna look the part once that's all in, in place properly. It's gonna look much better, I think. So I'll find someone who's gonna paint that up for me and then that will complete the look for the car. Okay, so let's talk milestones now. So when I started this channel, the whole point was me and my V6 Mark I and doing it up and then taking it to some shows. But I thought, well, while that's really good and showing you guys me fixing the car up and doing odd jobs so that you can benefit from that, is there any really value of doing that long term? Um, and really, uh, there's all, there was always a long term goal with this channel. It wasn't just to do videos of TTs and fixes and shows because let's face it, there's a whole lot of other people doing that on YouTube as well and to have another one's not really gonna float your boat. So I decided to change the focus on this channel just a little bit and it also means I'm gonna change the name of the, folk of the channel because originally the name is TTVR6 underscore SYL. SYL is my surname, Sylvester, just abbreviated. But my goal for this channel has always been based on Audis. You've seen that my daily drive is in A4. My son works for Audi. That's a coincidence, by the way. He didn't go work in Audi because I asked him to. He got a job there and he was a mechanic and made sense and I get a discount when I buy cars from there, which is great. But really my boy, I've always loved Audi from a, from a young boy, even when I was a mechanic. I was a mechanic myself once upon a time, would you believe? Um, and I used to fix Fords, but I used to love Audi Quattros. And when I saw the Audi Quattro, um, the original Quattro on the rally um, circuit, that was fantastic for me. That was the inspiration that got me to begin to love Audis. So this channel going forward is gonna have a new focus. Um, and, and this focus was only gonna come about if we reach 100 subs, which I have just over 100 now, which is great. Thank you very much for all those who subscribe. I appreciate every single subscription and all the comments that you give as well. Um, so the next goal is a thousand. My goal now is to a thousand. And to launch that um, road to a thousand subscribers, I am gonna have a new focus for the channel. So my ultimate car, there's lots of them, but the one that focuses on, on from an Audi point of view is an R8. Can I afford an R8 if I sell the China, my wife's China, which I don't think she would appreciate, maybe. But using this channel as a launch pad, it's gonna have free focus. So basically, it's gonna be about the road to getting an R8. And the way we're gonna get that R8 is by buying and selling performance Audi cars such, such as the TT we've got here. So the plan is to buy them cheap, and you can't buy out these cheap just by looking through Exchange and Mart or eBay. You got to use other means, which means sites like Copart. So Copart is gonna be a big part of that. Looking for Audis on Copart, crash damage ones maybe, possibly. Yes, they will be. Fixing those, getting them up on the road, giving them a little bit of a performance boost and then selling them for a profit. And then that way, and then putting the money from that profit into the next car until we get to a point that we can either buy an R8 outright or we find one on Copart that we fix up. That is my preference. But in order to do that, we're gonna need some money. So um, that's to buy the car on Copart, but we've already got the funds here. So what you're gonna see over the next year or so, because it's gonna take a while, is you're gonna see me getting these cars, spending some money to make them to get them that performance edge so like the car that i'm working on now the white tt that's going to get a race chip boost kit you're going to see me fit that install that i'm going to reach out to the guys in race chip as well because it'd be great to um well see their factory if possible i'm not sure they'll probably just send it in a postal and say to me who are you who are you but even so, um, and give the cars a little bit of a performance boost and then sell them for a profit and then air, every single penny that we make, put it into the next car and build it in that way. And we're gonna do a little different mods on each car as well just to give it an enhancement. You're gonna have a 
part to play in that as well so um, on that basis the name of the channel is going to change so I'm thinking something like the Audi guy or Paul Audi world something like that throw some names in a hat tell me what you think guys if you'd like to see that comment below but more importantly tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to this channel and you're gonna see more things being done on this car so it's really about the community for me and also going to shows etc and really on the journey to get into an R8 by having a more of an Audi focused channel it means that it will allow me to attract sponsors for the vlog as well and also to get invitations from Audi to go on pre-days and, and but most importantly it's all about that you can do this too so literally I mean I work in IT I have a, a decent job but I, I want to make sure that every penny that we're using is not being subsidized by savings it's all going to be from the cars that we buy and sell so you'll see the, the wins and the losses but more importantly you will benefit from this channel and hopefully replicate it yourself so that's it that's it for this week short um, week next week we really start doing stuff I promise you so we'll, we're gonna either fit the bumper or we'll be going to the body shop to get it painted up so I'm gonna organize that um, and I've also got some bumps and scratches really the reason why it's so slow is because I can't really do anything legally on the car until I get the V5 and to get it booked in for an MOT so I'm gonna hopefully get the MOT sorted next week but before actually I'm not gonna get it sorted next week because I've got a sort of breakout because that will fail so I'll be fixing that next week and then after that we'll be getting the car ready for an MOT so stay tuned like I said don't forget if you know a friend who likes Audis or Audi TTs specifically because that will still be the focus of the channel We'll always be looking for TTs to do, but if we find something interesting, something really fast and quattro base, well, we may buy that, but the focus will be on TTs. So, stay tuned. Subscribe if you're seeing this for the first time yet, or you're not a, subscri I mean, a subscriber. I'll post a picture or two on Instagram, but I'll see you next week, so take care. And hopefully next week we'll have the new logo, who knows? based on your ideas but I want this channel to be influenced by you so send in your ideas and you could be influencing the name of this channel going forward have a good week see you next Monday Always.